Hi right guys, so um, you know this guest have been on my radio show and a lot of you guys have been asking me why it's not up as yet, but because I know that she was going to be my guest for my season finale. Thank you so much. Pum, pum, pum. Yeah, yeah, I understand. It's a media personality, attorney. At, firstly, attorney at law, media personality, host, a legend, a pioneer. Miss Kitty, Kadeen Hilton. Not Toya Hilton, Hello. by the way. Miss Kitty, welcome. Hello, welcome Kareem. once again. It's people who never planned the black and white something. A while ago when I saw her, I was like, but I understand. Like, but great I love minds this. think alike. I, I, I swear to God. But you look really hot in your polka dot because that every man body can pull off that polka dot something. Oh, no, man. You understand? You yeah. have someone with chicken chest with Kia. Yeah, and someone with a cardboard body with Kia. <laughs> pull off that something. There. So you look really nice. Thank you. Sartorially you dressed. Sartorially. Really hot. Right on this yeah, word, David. So I can Google it after this. <laughs> well, I mean, thank you for having me. No, I'm happy to be come here. On. Hi, guys. How are you? No, man. My viewers. My audience, Things Nation, them love your Yeah, bad. girl of things. I Miss, yeah, forgot man. to say Miss Kitty Girl of Miss Kitty Girl of things. Hello, Listen to put me. some respect for my name. Even on the <laughs> Friday when you released your docu feature, yeah. I saw that Things Nation. Then but tweet Miss Kitty plus the hashtag and everything. Yeah. I'm like, yo, I love this for us. Yeah, right, no I, joke. Let me just say, Kareem, I want to say big ups to you. Yeah. And you know, all the persons on Things Nation, all the members on your yeah. platform thank for you. reposting, for tweeting, for downloading. And I just want to say thank you. I appreciate it. Because a lot of times, if it's not something that is mixed up or is nothing that is bad or berating somebody, them not rush to it. Mm -hmm. So if it was a situation where Miss Kitty did get old with drugs somewhere, or them the ear say, one man put me out a roadside mm -hmm. and somebody mm -hmm. drive on splash me mm -hmm. everybody would run to it and download it and spread it and Plus. make it go viral so i just want to say thanks to those persons who were kind enough and inspired and motivated mm -hmm. and know that if we want to close out darkness if we want to get rid of darkness we have to shed light okay. and so you know the things that are edifying the things that are uplifting the things that are motivating and the things that will take us mm -hmm. to the next level ought to be the things that we appreciate yeah, and promote and i really am thankful and grateful to everyone that has watched calling miss kitty <laughs> you know and thanks to you kareem as well no man thank you like you don't even understand um um, speaking of calling Miss Kitty, yeah, that was last week Friday. Yeah, on my birthday. Right. Well, happy belated when my birthday. When my birthday presents. No, do you know where you're still? Yeah. But I'm a present <laughs> for you, but ah. <laughs> um, I watched it twice on the Saturday, oh, and nice. then I watched it two times this morning again. Oh wow. Um, it was a lot of emotions. Yeah. Um, so you know, speaking of emotions, so on December fifteenth, twenty twenty. Yeah. Take us back to that day. I saw emotion of gratitude and mm. happiness and all yeah. of that. Um, how were you feeling? What was the feeling like? Because uh, be, to be called to the bar. Yeah. It, it, it's not a little finger finger mm -hmm. something. And a CXC sit down and <laughs> not to the chair stop me. I understand yeah. me. Yeah. How was that? It was a lot. Um, that day was so surreal. I have dreamt of being called to the bar, walking on my black and white clothes. Remember, yeah. I say, yeah, girl, whoa, yeah. don't got so niceness. And it was a day for which I have worked assiduously for six years. Mm -hmm. Going to the Faculty of Law at the University of the West Indies, then matriculating to the Norman Manley Law School. Yes. And let me just tell you that the work is nothing to scoff at. Mm. It's not a walk in the park and a gallon boy business and a patty shop mm -hmm. and a dally house. It is a lot of hard work. And when you couple that commitment with having a full-time job, mm. as you know, being in media, we work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Right. Once you hit the street, you are always on. It's not as if we're like a nine to five person where when you're not in your work clothes, mm -hmm. you can like, you know, hide behind the veil of anonymity. Once people see you out the road, whether you're that. having a good or a bad day, what well, Karim boy, I think, and you have to just turn it on Always. even when you're not in the mood yeah, <laughs> yeah right <laughs> and so for me that day was a culmination of all the hard work mm -hmm. Sleeping in the library, staying up late at night, um, being in the library on weekends after a Magnum Kings and Queens of Dance Hall mm -hmm. on a Saturday night, having library all day Sunday. After I do my Miss Kitty live radio show two to five, I have to leave work, go to school. Mm -hmm. And remember, I work in the day, so I have to study in the evening into the early morning. Mm -hmm. Then now when it's time for exam, you know, you have to live in at the library. I have shows overseas. I have shows in Jamaica. I do, um, you know, a lot of shows. I mean, every show you can think Plus of. your personal life. Uh, Plus my personal life, you have your bills to pay, I have my staff I deal with, you know, and you have to 
make all of those things work and you have to try as best you can to create harmony i just always say i don't there is never ever balance in life mm. because something always i'll get joke and something always i got off mm. but i always try for harmony but it was also very difficult because many days i was down mm. i was depressed wow feeling alone, feeling behind. I had to give up a lot of opportunities. I remember um, a very famous actress came to Jamaica, offered me uh, a, an opportunity to have a show overseas. Now, remember, so everybody want to get on BET Soul or uh -huh. want to get on BET, something yeah. of them. And she came, we did a pilot, everything went well. But at the time, the dream was on me and I wanted to be an attorney and I had to turn it down. I called her, I spoke to her, I said, well, you know, thank you for the opportunity. However, I, I'm sorry, but I have to, pass mm -hmm. on this one because i have a dream to be an attorney at law and i want to do it and i just believe that listen if war for you can't be on for you and so i just took a chance but at the same time carry me feel away because for no said that woman a big star coming and out much in show and have to turn that down mm -hmm. yeah i want to tell yourself lord god i wonder if an opportunity like that will I ever come again mm -hmm. there are times when people call me for shows i have to turn it down and i'm money that member said me don't sell drugs me's not a scammer <laughs> me's not a prostitute but don't sell vagina and these things so i have to work for everything that i have Right. And so when you're losing money, me not like that something they call me eat, bro, call me allergic to poverty. I mean, afraid of them somebody. Yeah. I have a call all the money and beg him, I tell him my tongue would I drop out of my head. You understand? Right. So it was a lot of sacrifices. Mm -hmm. So financial sacrifice. Remember now, even going to work, there are certain shows I couldn't do anymore. And again, you have to cut back. So you have to ban your belly. Remember, the school fees are very expensive. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about book. We're not talking about gas, lunch, lunch money, money, clothes, and all of those things, right? And at the same time, I, I believe to whom much is given, much is expected. So may I try to help students as well by giving them scholarships so that they can actualize their dreams. So it was a very rough journey for me. Mm -hmm. And that day when I thought about all that I had gone through, because sometimes, you know, you tell people you struggle, but only you, when the shoe is on your foot only you know how it a squeeze and so a whole heap of tears whole heap of driving many days Karim I'm tired I'm feeling down sometimes I just want to give up come here I say what kind of obey this for me yeah. me not me not take nobody man the yeah. people them man they want me I want them I'm going to take them, take them. I'm yeah. not really take girl man I'm going to take over yeah. Yeah. yeah stand up in their life like the empire state building and like the statue of liberty she yeah. right and you know I mean I say why me I feel go through this my life alright I'm at the top of my game in my career I'm doing what I'm doing but then you know when when you have when you dream bigger and you have a bigger purpose and you have hope you have to just go on so even though i cried many evenings going to school and then you have to deal with the traffic mm. and all of the, something i remember when you get to school you have to assimilate all that they're teaching so it's not like you're just going into class and just they're idling you have right. to put yourself there immerse yourself so i have to lock off miss kitty and turn on kadeen hilton yes wow. um a part that stood out to me um, you know, everybody know me and my mother. Yeah. Um, to see and hear the 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 how proud your mother was of you. Yeah. I saw tears. Yeah. Um, but that should have been, or I'm expecting, or assuming that that is your main goal. Cause that is my main goal. In yeah. Life. Always. So my mother said, "Listen, no, you make me proud." Absolutely. How no. did you feel? Like those words and her emotion. I'm mean, not like. I cut a tear. Yeah. yeah I look at tear <laughs> no, real men bit. cry. Yeah, Big up the men who can cry. Yeah, you understand the man who have an icebox in them art. The man who get breast milk and christen. Because some of the man who can't ball because the tender people who are old back on a little lacrimal gland. No cannot balls. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so you know, because of the men who know how to shed right. a tear, you know, and get emotional. Um, my mother, um, my mother, my dad, you know, mm. nurse anesthetist Marjorie Hilton. My mother has been a hard worker, the template of what a, an independent, strong forward thinking assertive woman should be i've never seen my mother as the type to sit down and wait on any handouts or wait on anybody to do something my mother was married i was born in wedlock mm -hmm. growing a family with my mom and my dad my dad passed away last year yes, august uh, may his soul continue to rest in peace and so until my father died i've always had my both parents you know so i, I grew up in a in a traditional nuclear family, which I think augured to my benefit because that was the foundation on which a lot of my confidence, self-assurance, right. self-worth, and self-esteem was built. I always sure myself for yeah. a long time. All when the other people are not sure about me, I'm sure, sure about, you. about yeah. myself, right? Because you know they want to put it on because you're fat or you're this yeah. or you're that or you know it's not straight mm -hmm. and you know bro like mm -hmm. certain people mm -hmm. and you know have the look of ear something yeah. there, they want to put your own back. But I was grown to believe in myself Know that I am special and know that 
my superpower was being me because nobody else could do that. So my mom has always been a hard worker. She's a nurse anesthetist, as I said, work hard. And for me, I've always wanted to make my mom proud, my family proud, because I know, for example, I'll share this. You see, I get scoop on these things. <laughs> my mom got a job offer in Cayman mm -hmm. and she was going to take it. Now, remember, say, I came and she go, she earn US dollar. Kareem, when the lady pack up, she get my father's sister for come stay with me because she net. So she can, you know, oversee everything. When mommy reach her airport, like she think about it and by her bags were on the carousel and she just tell the man, say, um, look here, you know, something about to go, wow. um, take her back my bag. Wow. And the man said, but the bag gone wrong. She said, all right, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> and she head out, jukes back and wow. was, and she came home. And when I saw that, I said to myself, wow, no, this woman gave up an opportunity to earn thousands of US dollars make herself better in her life or whatever because she did not want to leave her two girls unattended even though we were, my father was there right. my aunt was there right. she just wanted to ensure that, that there. she was there to protect mm. and to guide us and so when a parent go hard for you I believe you have to go hard for them my mother my dad my wash proud every day my wash when she looks she says thank you father God but they make that over there come yeah. out <laughs> yeah. yeah thank you father God right. never got some right. bumps mm. and got some ray and you know I think that as persons Oftentimes, our parents give up a lot. Sacrifice. I'm not talking about the bugger bugger parents. I'm talking about the real parents, not the ones who have abdicated their responsibility. I'm not talking about good mother and good father who sacrifice for them, pitney, burn them belly, go the extra mile so that your child can have a life that you didn't have. I believe we owe it to them to go hard for them. So at least when they think about their dreams mm -hmm. that they would have sacrificed, at least they can look at Kareem and say, you know, yep. he was worth it. Yep. When she looks at me, my mommy can say, you know, it was worth it. And, and I, I thank her. No, man, and I'm so forever indebted. No, man, I love that part. Like, I think that was one of my favorite parts. Yeah. Watching because I'm very close to my mother. I love my mother bad. Yeah, man, I'm going to tell people every day, my end goal in life, number one priority is to ensure that she's proud. Absolutely. I'm going to talk to Finky Frankie proud, but mean proud. Yeah. You can walk and say, this is my son. Yeah. And I'm proud of him. So, you know, kudos to you and your mother. Yeah. I love that relationship. Thank you. I love you, mommy. Yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> no, my mother, my dad. My mother, so, listen, like, I will just randomly call her. I'm uh, wagwan good girl, Casa Ota. I yeah. say, wagwan girl, wagwan goodie. Whoa, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and she listen to my show. And like, she dip on YouTube, you know, and if the people that sit up about me, she take them on and do the things them. Miss Kitty, <laughs> I just tweeted this. I said, listen to me. My mother comments on all my videos, yeah. right? And you say anybody who are coming to her right so now. Yeah, man. So I come back and I say, hello. Yeah. This is your, this is your, man. Yeah. That's my mother. my mother. Listen, yesterday a man called my show. My mother said, I wanted that ugly band day. I wanted that, yeah, I wanted that. Dirty. Dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put a show list of upset. I said, what time am I feeling dizzy? Listen, I say, you know what, what the problem is? When women stand up for ourselves and what we believe in, mm -hmm. it is a problem and we become public enemy number one. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, there have been many men to advocate on behalf of men and a lot of the dirty attitudes and attributes that have suppressed and depressed mm -hmm. a lot of women. Fact. It is time now that women stand up. I'm not trying to normalize any struggle of. Mm -hmm. Men I struggle with nobody. Yeah. You hear me? I tell you, when we watch the Easter show, and on me put the nail in a god and I never see a man I roll with a big yeah. stone make him come up on Palm Sunday <laughs> sir normalize healthy decent relationships every relationship would have its problems right. but if you have too much dung instead of up we have a major problem Houston we got a problem and I need to extricate myself from that I love that yeah what also, I ready to move our uh, <laughs> yeah. legendary. And the broke man them always a cause the problem. No, no. yeah. Remember some hours I tell you this man to show you. And to me, broke man is supposed to talk, you're supposed to have the sign language. Cause to me, your voice so much your bank book, me ignorance. Yeah. Also, the legendary Cliff Hughes. He oh. was in the docu future as yeah. well. And he spoke great words about you. Yeah. What was or what is that relationship like with him? All right. So big up to Cliff Hughes again, right, another right. pioneer in the business, mm. a black boy from humble beginnings, a black man from humble beginnings who has created a niche for himself, created an empire and an entity mm. that is reputable the world over, an Emmy Award winner, and mm. that is no easy feat. A man for whom I have a lot of respect, a lot of love, you know. Um, he's a very uh, fatherly figure, one who will guide. And what I love about Cliff is that he would have he takes young people and mold them and help them to grow. You don't have to be a 
a, a name person for him to believe in you or take a chance on no. you. So to have him there was very meaningful to me because I work at Nationwide. My show, Miss Kitty Live, is aired on Nationwide. And a lot of the times when I would have taken my study leave or I would have needed time to go to class, he would have been very understanding and accommodating. Mm. And so I'm always grateful for that because on every boss, already, which in we are still, yeah. if you never give me the time, still, but yes. I just catch a little horizon and yeah. come out <laughs> because my education and yeah. have to happen, right? But I'm very grateful for the time that he gave me. Mm. I'm very grateful for the encouragement that he gave me. And I'm always forever indebted. And even so, for example, when again, Karim, yeah, I get the things in. So for example, when I would take my study leave, right? I've not taken leave in years. Mm -hmm. Because to me, I would have taken study leave, did my exams, but think it unreasonable when I come back now, I go ask some more leave yeah. again, but now I'm going to do that. Because at the end of the day, I forgive God thanks for your job. Remember, me can't do the nibble skibble, mm -hmm. but me can't do the thumb them, me mm -hmm. sick and my stomach is ever sick, my leg shot and I'm sick with my back, so I can't do ride long on them somebody. I'm not like that somebody, right. you understand? And I can't bark like a little dog, I can't do this somebody, you understand? Yeah. Oh God. Like the things them. I'm like, <laughs> me can't swing from a chandelier. Yes, sir. Somebody's have to stay in my lane and say book over penis. Because uh, yeah. you know, right. Over the one I serpent, over the one as you would say. Right, right. right. Yeah. So Cliff Hughes was very instrumental in that and gave me an opportunity to self-actualize. And I'm always appreciative. So to see him there on the day, mm. um, it meant a lot. And to hear his words of encouragement and his um, you know, adulation, it really um melted my heart because he also is a high achiever and for somebody who i respect and who is an icon and who has created so much and paved the way mm -hmm. for so many people that felt really good because sometimes you know i'm working hard i'm focused i'm not really sometimes aware right. of myself or aware of who i am like my friend will say you know see you don't know who you is you don't understand you don't really understand but then like me just got giant a little line and start up <laughs> <laughs> but that's all right, though, as I tell you, I'm not getting on a platter. Mm -hmm. I work for everything I have. I'm not getting on. Um, I don't remember saying, I don't like my name. Um, I have a rich name. Mm -hmm. My Hilton is with a Y. Because my mm -hmm. mother never did look for money. My love, she had a ball of love. Yeah. Right? Um, I've not, I didn't have a godfather. I had nobody. Mm -hmm. Remember, I'm like the remix, Miss Lou remix. Mm -hmm. Miss Kitty's like Miss Lou in HD. Right. There was nobody like her. Um, You know, and so when I came on the scene, there was nobody like me. Mm -hmm. You know, me never see nobody. No, fluffy girl never depend on no magazine. As a matter of fact, you never fluffy, you're big and fat. Yeah. And that, th those were the pejorative terms used to describe people of weight right. so i came and i revolutionized that also on radio there was nobody code switching i didn't even realize that i was code switching but i just knew that from i was growing up i had to speak proper e standard english in my house yeah. because if you talk the patwa you're more broad with like back pocket my mother not answered not what you say you understand because her firm belief is you will spell how you speak Amen. so if you don't yes, pronounce man. the words properly mm -hmm. then when you're breaking it down in the syllable if you say fam billy mm -hmm. when you say fam um, B, Lee. That's what you you're going to write. A, 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 there you go. There. If you yeah. say Heg, mm -hmm. you're going to put H, <laughs> G, 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 Heg. Heg so me. my mother was a stickler mm -hmm. for that. We had to read a lot. We had to listen to the news and you had to articulate yourself well. So when my mother is speaking to you, she says, oh, what's your name? Kadeen, no, mm. my name is Kadeen Hilton. You answer in a full sentence. When you're saying good morning, good morning, mommy, good morning, auntie. So even now, I'm broken a calling adults, auntie, auntie so and so. Yeah, right, and so the, the other day, one little boy, Kitty, I said, ah, if I thump in your head, you know, grow no further, I'll, hey, I'll disrespect you, you know, I'll dislodge your track here, you know, you understand? It's Auntie Miss Kitty for you, you know. I don't see you in first class banking nowhere, hello. Don't be bright. Don't be bright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, man, I have, have manners. You right. see, Kareem, a lot of people important. don't have no manners. Very important. So I will never call uh, somebody older than me. Even the vendors from whom I buy, right? I have like a fruit lady. I don't know her name. I'm just call her auntie. auntie. Mister her husband. I call him uncle. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to have manners no matter what. And even if the person is quote unquote, you know, Whatever you might think, people think people less than them or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't care about that. You're a human being, first and foremost. And until you diss me, I'm not going to diss you. Mm -hmm. You see me? Me a girl who start at respect. My respect you first and roll the red mm -hmm. carpet. But you see when you make the devil trick you, <laughs> and you lose your weight, and your part, and you go over the disrespect lot. Then you're going to send me to the matrix. Yeah. And then now, I'm going to unleash and spread out like a beach towel. Yay. Right. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> no, I'm, 
<laughs> people, if you guys listened <laughs> to, <laughs> to, to <laughs> if you guys listened to when I had Miss Kitty on a radio show, let me tell you something. I was just dying of laughter because listen, but no, no, um, the truth are the truth, bad yeah, to bad. Back to the um docu feature, yes. Right? There. And by the way, please download the Digicel Play Go app. Yeah, my, yeah, my phone to watch right it. Now. Yeah, Good job. Thank guys. you. Big up Digicel. Hey. Yeah. There is a, long, a young lady by yes. the name of Lexi. Yeah, Alessandra La Beach, my you sister from got another mother. You eyed yeah. when you were speaking about how she got your notes, yeah. how she helped you as she yeah. was a year ahead of you. Yeah. Let me tell you something. People who can be thankful for those small things, that's what I respect. Yeah. And just to see how grateful, grateful you were to yeah. her. Man, ask Christ, yeah. that spoke volumes to your Love character. It. Listen to me, Kareem, for me, I'm a very grateful person. If you do something good for me, I'm always thankful. And you know, mm. in life, no man is an island. Right. A lot of people like to act like them invent the wheel and them never come, come see nothing. And there was nobody before them. Nobody paved the way for them. And uh, there are shoulders on which we stand. Mm. Pillars of strength for which we have to be grateful. So Lexi was so great. Um, and I'm thankful to her for the notes. And again, we live in a time now where some people believe that if them help you they might help down themselves mm -hmm. and them ignorant them not share no information mm -hmm. them not tell you nothing them not show you the path and what I hate about it is a lot of them have the information and your worthless and not ambition so you know really don't know with it so where you have it you have one big Rolodex and one phone with a bag of number and you're not using it you're just there as a little leech and a little parasite yeah. so if you even bust me it's not going to injure you because it's not like you were going to use it anyway hello Amen. yay Amen. Yeah. so just send out a number yeah. Listen to me. My mother tell me, say, the ladder of success is never crowded at the top. I have helped so many people. And that is for me, I think, one of the reasons God will continue to bless me because I try my best to reach out to others. I've given scholarships. I just gave two scholarships to students, um, two students this year. Mm. One from my alma mater, Merle Grove High School, yeah, and another young man from Calabar who lives in um, the garrison, okay? Mm. But they're pregnant with promise and them have potential. Right. And I know that they can be the game changer in their family. So I want to give them the opportunity. I know why you have to think about like, the school fee to pay and they're going to deregister mm -hmm. me and boy, murder. No more you concentrate on your book mm -hmm. because you see, when you have a good edit, what them say, labor for learning before you grow old for learning is better than silver and, and gold. gold. Silver and gold will vanish away, away, but a good education will never decay. Yes. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> right? <laughs> so I believe in education. Now, education is not the only way to make money or extricate yourself from poverty mm -hmm. but it is a tried tested way to do so mm -hmm. so you have other ways now you can make money but education is not just about getting the degree or getting the diploma in your hand right. it's about expanding your mind expanding your perspective meeting different people from all different races class creed country you mm -hmm. know what i mean so yeah so i believe in helping because at the end of the day it's better to be the tail of something than the head of nothing mm -hmm. a lot of people are holding on to information like you know how you use it we are doing yeah. it you're not yeah. using it. Yeah. What list this dash up on you? <laughs> You're not doing nothing. But you're just bad mind. I want to help people because to me, you have to pay it forward. Definitely. We have Definitely. to be respectful. We have to be grateful. We have to be thankful. Mm. Some people are too selfish. Nobody can do nothing free for you again. Everything you do, you don't, there is no nothing called volunteerism. Everything you do, our money, you have to pay me. I'm not saying, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I don't subscribe for people using people or being an opportunist. But when you're committed to a cause, I'm committed to a cause. Whether I'm doing a free show or a paid show, you will never know. Because at both of them, I'm going hard. My dress up, look back on my show. My yeah, dress, dress Ella, right up, makeup, ear, Ella, everything. As simple nice. as that we get, look, Kareem. Yeah. It's, this is HD lace. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Martin, zoom in, panda, we get. And at Suda, I like, want to know. Yeah. Me never come up in a Karim place in a scandal bag and yeah. a crocus bag. Yeah. Everything I have on Karim brand new, brand new right inside true. out, yeah. right to. <laughs> Just think about everything. I asked me nice to let's, oh, let's get to you. that. But now ask oh, her you. nice bud. Thank you. Um, we have a short span of time, but I can't believe it. Right. No, no, talk your talk, man. I'm glad. The, the guy on your. I think his name is Jazeel. Yeah, Jazeel. He's also very integral. You got him a laptop. Yes, I did. Christmas Eve. Yes. Okay. So Jazeel um, was the head boy from uh, St. George's College. I interviewed him there. I interviewed him at St. George's College back in the day when I was doing my radio show. And it was called Radiocation at the time. So we'd go to schools and, you know, talk to the mm -hmm. young people and get a vibe and so on and so forth and showcase the institution. He was very bright, articulate. Mm -hmm. You know, you see, future pan, somebody yeah, may say, man, yeah. yeah. Anyway, when we start law school now, he booked me. But I never remember him. 
okay, no, 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 me. Oh, the people. Mm-hmm. So I didn't really remember. But when he reminded me, I'm like, yes, mm-hmm. oh, I remember. And he had a picture of us as well, wow. right when I was fourth year. And I'm like, okay, I remember. <laughs> and when he told him, say, boy, you know, he's here. And I said, okay, that's nice. And him say, boy, if I ever need any help, I should ask him. And right away, give me a number, right? Yeah, right, yeah. I'm going to come, yeah. And I would always see him in the library and then we would study in the library. He lives in August Town. And you know, August Town can be a very volatile, volatile community. Mm-hmm. And when in the night when we're done studying in the, before the morning, met up at like 2 a.m. I'm talking about like 3 o'clock. I me never feel comfortable. First of all, I'm about to run. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to take a taxi cab. I don't want you to go do you. And Karim, I risked my life. I risked wow. my safety and dropped him home. Mm. And so oftentimes I'd call him and he'd be in the library. So my other sister, he'd just in the, the library. library so, so, yeah. yeah, but you say, I don't understand. Because I'm in the library. Because I'm living there. Yeah. And they said, oh, you're in there. Same, same, now I have no laptop. Mm. So I decided that I was going to help because I knew that that would make a difference for him. And I went up, bought the laptop and I had it and I surprised him. So he was a merchandiser at um, General Foods. Mm-hmm. So I said, I'm Jez. Hi, how are you? Where are you? And him said, he's working. So I said, no problem. Can you meet me in the parking lot, please? And then I said, you know, that, and he would have helped me study too and stuff like that. And I said, you know, I have a small token of appreciation. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And it's a brand new laptop me gave him. Mm-hmm. So that could have helped him study and make him have a couple, you know, every time. Yeah. And then Something like you don't know going to the fire and all these things. Yeah, and all these yeah. things. You understand? So that's just my thing. The Queen's Council, Ian G. Wilkinson, that called us to the bar. Another great man, again, another mentor, person who will guide way, help us study, show us ways how to um, acquit yourself, how to speak, how to articulate. The man, they are boss. The man, they are general. Yeah. You know? So you always have to help and try your best to sow seeds of good. Because Karim Irwa, you can't plant corn and reap peas. Mm. You can't plant selfishness. You can't plant bad mind. You can't plant divisiveness mm. and expect, say, oh my God, you're going to have harmony mm-hmm. and unity mm-hmm. and prospects and progress. It doesn't work like that. You're not going to like everybody because me not like everybody. Right. And everybody not like and me. That's okay. And that's fine. That's I'm fine. Ca- me not going to be everybody cup of tea because me and a mug. Mug, yeah. And it's fine. It's not a problem. Some people like scarcity. Some like ginger. Some like, some like mint. Red some red. like chocolate with whipped cream on top. And it's <laughs> fine. I'm not here for a popularity contest because I know that you will never be right for mm-hmm. the wrong person. If somebody make up their mind to eat Korean Boya things, mm-hmm. no matter what you do, they're going to always find a fault. But that is for them fault. Whatever they find fault with is the rotten tea. Into them mouth and them mother we can't find them father. I'll know what that means about. Yeah. Um. So you've been called to the bar. Yep. And for those who don't know, how has it been since December 15? Yeah. To today, March, whenever. Yeah, it's crazy. Let me just tell you. So now I'm attorney at law at day, yes. media practitioner in the afternoon, and then attorney again, and also entrepreneur because, as mm. you know, or may ha- may know, I just started another business, my health and wellness yes. business with my team. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Here, hello. And everybody got. Vitamins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. round right. of vitamins, you know, <laughs> you got to have your multivitamins because mm-hmm. Kareem, again, we have to take our health into consideration. Definitely. If you do not pay attention to your wellness, mm-hmm. you will be, a, you will be forced to pay attention to your illness. Mm-hmm. Not because we are young. We think, Cha, we can just eat and do anything. You are what you put into right. your body and you have to try as best you can to be healthy. Cut down on the sodium, cut down on the night, like in terms of the sleepless nights. Mm-hmm. Sleep is very important. What you do, nobody I say you can't drink a glass of wine, but you can't do a buckle every day. Mm. Your pancreas and your liver won't thank you for it. You're gonna put your pancreas under pressure. Your liver under pressure. So you have to take your vitamins. You have to take your sea moss. You have to take your um, you know, if you, ha- you say, for example, things to boost your metabolism. Right. Like me and you who work hard. Mm. Remember, we're not we're not us, you're not us husband and me and us wife. Fuck. We have an outer road. I look it. Mm-hmm. So we need to do things and take supplements to help to generate our body, give us the strength and the impetus we need to achieve what we have to. So I found some products. So just before the call, you see, I'm going to look nice and I'm glowing at the video <laughs> into the docu feature. I saw my friend taking it because when I was studying again, me and I'm everything inside. I don't right. drink and I don't smoke. Right. So I have to eat to get my sugar levels up so I can burn the midnight oil. Okay. When me done, my love, my favorite one little <laughs> refugee, I want diggy boat. Hear me, Jesus Christ. What a way my favorite eel back. <laughs> Why am I still so? Yeah. My little party, they're not me. <laughs> Murder. <laughs> Why? 
And so I decided, I said, girl, Shanna, show me t- those products. Oh, big up Shanna Dollop, by the way. Uh, all the yeah. time, Miss Shanna Cole. Hello, yeah, honey, TLT family. And I and I bought them because whatever I'm aligning myself to, mm-hmm. I have to make sure that I test it. So Kareem, I said, all right, you don't know. Me know December 15, I come up, you know, my girl have a snatch and eat. Mm-hmm. I'm going to grill up my throat <laughs> because I'm going to eat nothing. And I didn't even have to because I had my resolution drops, mm-hmm. which suppressed my appetite. I had my energy, my nutriburst in the morning, mm-hmm. and I took that. And sir, look upon me now, the duck your feet. Nice, bud. Uh, 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 yeah. Sa- sa- no? yeah. <laughs> sa- no? And so I decided to start selling the products. Right. And so also, I know the, the products are sold overseas. I know a lot of Jamaicans may not have a foreign address, a credit card, credit or card. all of that. Mm-hmm. So what I have done, I have imported the products. I have them here on hand mm-hmm. in Jamaica for persons who want it. And all they have to do is clink, click the link the tree link in my link bio. Tree link and you find all the products. All and, of that. and if you want to call me or DM me, I have the products in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. So I've taken up the hassle out of health for you. So I have the products. You can get them. I also have my tea. The de- Have you ever detoxed, Kareem? See the press for details. Conditions apply. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you need to... All right. A lot of times people have certain things on them skin. Mm-hmm. Certain bumping in your face. and mm-hmm. You feel lethargic. Mm-hmm. Right? You feel this kind of malaise. Like, ah, you're just loggy, loggy. Right? Because sometimes the toxins in our bodies is overloaded. Mm-hmm. It's overloaded. You're n- All right, picture this, guys. You have a rubbish bin in your house that you've been putting rubbish in, putting rubbish in. Your door emptied. After a while, you know, it has start give off a pungent Demon smell. Problems. It has start tink up your mm-hmm. place. That's our bodies. Some people feel good for say, oh, I only go to the bathroom um, once per week or every yeah. other week and two weeks. No, girl. Yeah. No, sir. Yeah. You eat every day. You should be having a bowel movement every, every day. day. Where is that garbage going? Where's all that toxicity? Mm. The toxins are in your body. So you have to expel them. And a lot of times, you know, we feel bloated or we feel a certain type of way. Mm-hmm. It all goes back to what we're eating. And if you're eating the junk and you're not getting rid of the waste, that is a problem. So I'm going to introduce you to my CBD. Please and thank you. Yes, sir. What was I your got first, you. Um, first time representing someone as a counselor? Like yeah. Turn it out to love. Yeah. Um, I had a, it was a criminal matter. Ooh. And just to say, uh, I am an attorney at law who practices across the board. Okay. So everything, everybody, so everything, 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 everybody, yeah. everything. Remember, I'm a neophyte. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to, I don't, I have not chosen any one particular area. Right. So I do conveyancing, probate. Mm-hmm. I do criminal, co- um, commercial, everything and everyone. Right. I do it. Right now, I'm under the tutelage of Mr. Ian G. Wilkinson QC. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the best teachers I could have ever asked for. Mm-hmm. And again, we have to seek mentors to guide us don't be afraid to ask for help right. if you don't know you just don't ask. know and right. it's fine just ask the question right so um yeah it was a q a criminal matter and uh police was there we went client was being interviewed and had to give guidance and all of that stuff and everything worked out you know what i'm saying yeah got the yeah. client out you know yeah. what i'm saying got the bangles off you yeah. know <laughs> so yay so that was an experience and uh it was definitely you know an eye-opener mm-hmm. as to what not to do and i just want to tell people you know um people will say oh man i need a liar for this and that but when the problem come oh, you yeah, know well. yeah so mm. it, it was it was a good experience Experience. Um, a little intimidating because you don't know at the first time I yeah. said, Lord Jesus, boy, I'll be nervous like I'm guilty every boy, <laughs> murder, boy. But you know, you hold yourself together, you remember all that you were taught, you act under the guidance of right. senior counsel, and you acquit yourself accordingly. I love that. I yeah. love that. Um, do you think that your career in media and entertainment will take a backseat if it is that your <laughs> career in law yeah. um, requires it? The two of them I forgot work out no, in a career. Yeah, but now I'll tell the life. I'm gonna tell the truth of God love. That's on Mary had a little lamb. Yeah. Okay. So um the thing is, it's hard to as I said earlier, you'll never have full balance. You have to just strive for harmony. So there are days when I am more of an entertainer than a than an attorney Mm. and there are days when I'm more of an attorney than I'm an entertainer what I try to do is streamline my matters in such a way that one doesn't encroach on the other so if it means that I have a matter for which I have to prepare I have to get up earlier or I have to go to bed later at night it means that boy I have to cut down on something I won't be able to go to that event I have to turn down that event Mm -hmm. because I need time to prepare if I'm having my show I need to do that if I'm making time to come to Kareem Boyer Things Nation family I have to cut off 
certain things. I can't do that. So I have to go to bed early. So it's a matter of time management. Mm -hmm. But I, trust me, I have a love and a passion for both areas. So I just have to try. Sometimes when I get a little squeeze, but you have to just try as best as you can. Mm -hmm. Come like dress up on these things. I don't tell the truth. I like the um, the court clothes and I like the black and white and I like my little tabs and my color red but my nala it give me a whole heap of buzz when you yeah. have the long ear and the different color and the, yeah. um, the outfits and you know the flashy I love it and I love to entertain people and when you go to court it's not a joke Definitely it's a sober not. environment right. So, but no, no. clothing from your, put on your from clothes your head to your toe like how this as even though mm -hmm. it's black I wouldn't wear this to court mm -hmm. You can't wear your rings and your this and mm -hmm. your that because it's a different arena and you have to adjust yourself. And again, it comes to being multifaceted. Don't allow anybody to stereotype you. I don't go to court and be la la la. No, no, no. Time and place for everything under the sun. Mm -hmm. And you have to know when to, where to and how to. how to. And that is what I pride myself on. Mm -hmm. So when you go to court, it's a soberness. It's a respect, it's a solemnity, a solemnity, right? That you have to approach the court with, mm -hmm. a respect, an honor, a mm -hmm. reverence. And so you have to do that. So when you see me in court, don't be miskidding me. I'm yeah. not miskidding Hello? right now. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, when we're outside, yeah, outside, yeah. outside, outside, yeah. Uh, then we can do that. But yeah. Um, it's a balancing of both, but I'm happy and grateful that I was able to achieve my childhood dream to self-actualize. And that's why, you know, throughout the docu feature, I was crying. A lot of people, I'm scared you cry because I know what I went through to get there. And especially when you know, say your life, all right, I'm good in a certain way. But because as a woman, I want, for, I want better for myself. I want to give myself options mm -hmm. and I want to reach out and touch yeah. somebody's <laughs> in, make this world a better, better place. place. Yeah. You know, yeah. I feel good in myself. Right. I feel proud. I never get nothing upon a platter. Nobody never give it to me. Mm. I had to work hard. The heights of great men reached and kept were not attained by sudden flight. Amen. But they, while their companions slept, were toiling upward through the night. Wow. So I know my struggle. Them see your glory, them know your story. Speaking of story. Them nice see your life and know your sacrifice. So we've yeah. spoken about, you know, you've been called to the bar and we've yeah. spoken about your docket future on DigiPlaygo. Please yes. go ahead and download it. Thank you. Um, so we've spoken about that. Yeah. And, you know, we've seen Miss Kitty. We've heard you on a lot of interviews. We've watched a lot of interviews with you. Yeah. And I think that we kind of know you, but we don't really know you, right? True. Um, through. <laughs> so we know that you went to Merle Grove. Yeah. And I, I know that you have a degree in literature as yeah. English. Mm -hmm. And I think you have one in entertainment. No, mm -mm. no. Go, so go. I just went to UA and then we went to, and then we broke off and then we, I went straight into media. Mm. So it's like, you know, during that time, as I said, starting in media, I was, I just brought myself, you know, I, I heard that. Brought myself, I was my authentic self. Um, too much for some people, mm. but also I so believe cool. sometimes you're too much for some people when they think that you don't deserve it or you shouldn't act like that. that because maybe if my nose is straight and my belly is flat and my belly browner, no, they and my have cool ear. They would have loved your personality. Exactly. Man, yeah, so if when you're black or you come from certain mm -hmm. place or you're fat or you're short mm -hmm. or you come from ghetto or you come from country mm -hmm. or you don't look a certain way, they want to stereotype you and they want to put you in the box. However, I'm that woman mm. who I'm not I don't think in the box, I am outside of the mm. box. So I don't live by people's limitations. So when I got into media, I started on a youth program uh, where, you know, talking about youth stuff and youth issues and so on. Then that On RJR. On RJR, yes. yes. And then that grew into me having a little afternoon slot called Wired. Mm -hmm. Then one woman come and she claimed to say I couldn't interview. Mm. You know, my nine are. Who is that woman? I never want to call it name. Is somebody uh, present now in the she, spirit? No, no. The broken okay. there somewhere. I don't yeah. know. And just say you could yeah. interview. Run at the back. And then you got fired from that job? No, no. I never got fired. I resigned. From so, RJ. Yes, I did. Okay. So that was even before. So she came and said, um, you know, I couldn't interview. And she took my show from me. And at the time, she wanted to give me like a, a slot where I was going to come out of my house like two o'clock in the morning. And my mother said, no, that's not safe at all why would you want to put a young lady in that situation mm -hmm. and so when i realized the fight that i was getting there i said you know what i resigned right. so i went to nationwide when nationwide was on the am band 
Mm. AM, because for me, Kareem, listen, I am not going to be working and contributing to the development of an institution and I'm not benefiting from it. Mm. It makes no sense. Facts. Remember, you know, people are watching, people are look. And when you're broke and hungry and not have it, and them see me and I go laugh after you. And nobody now make me stand up with a Spanish tone on a train line, not a food for the poor with no telephone. You understand? Yeah. And give me my birthright. I eat what I'm to eat and goggle. I'm for goggle and stress my tonsil. You understand? So God <laughs> bless me with a talent. I'm a work hard. I'm a hard worker. Right. I'm very diligent. I'm very professional. I strive for that mm. excellence, par excellence. Mm. You understand? So you have to always go hard. So anyway, go over nationwide. Them laugh after me, and I said, "No, now I'm going for me. I'm now gonna reach nowhere." Hmm. I got news for you. Mm. I got news for you. I took <laughs> it to you, but where are you? I gotta tell you. Made it through the fire, made it through the rain. So I went to Nationwide on the AM band, had my, I had a sex show, and I also had a sex show on RJR as well. Yeah, and right? the sex show was in the early Frank morning, front. In Frank and Upfront, no yeah. pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> Frank and Upfront, you're right. Yeah. And that was well. Yes. Well, yes it, um, received and stuff like that. Yes, that was yeah, good. Yes, we got to Henry Stennett. Yeah. Right. They he spoke about that. sex and relationships and everything. Right. Like, like after dark. So right. Like, boy, I think exactly. Yeah. Hello. So you see, <laughs> I'm right. your spirit animal. No, you are. Trust right. Me. So I was doing my sex show. So Frank and Upfront. Then I went to Nationwide on the AIM band. I was doing another mm -hmm. sex show called People, Relationships and Sex, mm -hmm. PRS. So I'm no sex show ever follow me. So then when <laughs> and people, yeah, my lad, God, come like, a sexologist. A sexologist. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, uh, so I was doing that and then I was headhunted and brought back to RJR to light up their afternoon slot. So mm. I was doing a show called Eruption mm. at that time. I'm going to ask Christ, I'm going to go over to create a storm because again, I applied myself Outside broadcast. So you me. left nationwide. Yes, yeah, so I left nationwide. So you right from nationwide. And you go back to right. RJR well, now. no, could they kind of fire me? Is but I mean resign. But he put fire. But I just make him feel like him winning them. Somebody. Yeah. So I just want to win that. Yeah, that's that he put fire. Yeah. So then you went back to RJR. Yeah, though, it's like you know when I left a man yeah. and him sir said him like he was sir. You really left I left him? long yeah. time. You left but, long time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but all right. Sir. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, all right. Take your win. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But when you went back to RJR, the same woman was there. Right. No. She. No. Them get. That, that. So you're still alive, but yeah, me for tell that's why I carry that's why I said the good in a life and good to follow you because the people them who you try to do but if your modus operandi is to get up every day with your wicked art where black like when you're great like a cassava in a dirty dodge pot mm. and stress out people, children it's gonna come back by you and member when you have kids when you have children be e careful mm. what you're doing to other people's children listen if somebody messes up and you have to reprimand them time enough but don't get up every day to just make people's life miserable mm -mm. for what mm -mm. that's not god not like ugly mm -mm. so them get rid of the delilah them get rid of the problem yeah it's delilah for me <laughs> Them get rid of the judgment. Yeah. So when them Lego she now, can they realize the demon? Mm -hmm. Them realize the Lucifer. Then them draw back. Draw back for you again. Sars me. And I go on with myself. Over there. I am very integral. So, for example, I would even go down to the sales reps and be talking to them about how to sell my show, ideas that I would have. No other radio presenter under them something about me. I want my show selling now. Yeah. I'm a, so, I give them ideas and I talk to them. I'm, I'm having a sales rep meeting, okay? Because mm -hmm. I'm very integral because I want my, my, my show to succeed as well as wherever I go. I want to leave it better than mm. I saw it. Yeah. Whoever I come into contact with, I want you to be better when I leave. Right. I aim to enrich the lives of people Let and just, places that I go. Um, interject for a second. Sure. Right? So when Miss Kitty came on my radio show, when in a city radio show, or if you've listened, then you must know how long I try to get her upon the show. But you know, things never work out. She called me or Mr. Call. Three times. No, Karim, take three times. Three times. Yeah, like the Trinity. Voice message. I mean, I tell you, Thank me you. personally, I'm a sink of the earth. And come <laughs> up. Right? But when she came on the radio show and um, the same person that works on my podcast yes. works on my radio show. I think Mac is outside, by the way. Um, you sat there for almost an hour. Yeah, an hour. I'm yeah. going to ask you for an advice. Mm -hmm. I never tell us that I want you to speak to my uh, employees. Yeah. I never tell you any issues that I might be having. And I won't go down to the intricacies and yeah. the semantics of it all. But you believe me when I went home, I was speaking to my mother. Yeah. Right? Hi, mommy. What's your, your mommy name? Jackie. Hi, Miss Jackie Godazi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I tell people this every day. I am not emotional. 
But when it comes down to my work yes. and my family, that's when, you know. You touch a nerve. Exactly, because I know the hard work and the bully past struggles and things. But that conversation you've had with me. Yeah. But not telling that. Like, you've done something for me without even knowing. Like, you're wow. a mentor to wow. me without even knowing that you're a mentor. And I appreciate you. Wow. I'm going to get you. understand? Hey. No, but I'm going to off my lash. No, but I love that. No, I love that. I love But I appreciated what you did because yeah. it, it was late at night. It was yeah. after 11 o'clock. Yeah. And, you know, you could have come by the show and, you know, by the time the show for doing be like, I guys, want to thank you for having me. But you sat there and what you spoke to us was not you critiquing us. Yeah. It was literally you just saying to us, listen, I see you guys have talent yeah. and it can go well. Fix this and yes. fix that. Yeah. And for that, yeah. when I ask, if we have a million dollars, <laughs> more than give. No, when I get it, I give me. Hello, please. <laughs> uh, Martin, please to tape when he said that because I know he's going to have the million dollars and I'll be right here waiting, you know. But <laughs> yeah. you're, you're most welcome, Kareem. Um, it was definitely a joy being there. Mm -hmm. And there are many times, you know, people of the Negroid race, one of the things I think we lack is giving advice and direction. Definitely. Every generation doesn't have to start from scratch. Mm -hmm. When I look at the Jews and the Chinese and the other races, Races. Each generation builds mm -hmm, the builds. other, builds the other. Definitely. You don't have to start. So as a young, as a young, I'm still young, by the way. Same way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fight the wrinkles. I'm like, oh, right. So I want certain guidance. And so I would have seen certain things. I would have had to make certain changes. And because I want you to do well, mm -hmm. I want you to reach out. I say, Karim, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. don't put your foot there, so do that. Right. Better you do that right there. So, so constructive mm -hmm. criticism to make you do better. I and that. I want you to reach out. And I know you have what it takes. Mm -hmm. And I'm here to support you. Yeah, and you. in whichever way I can be of assistance, mm -hmm. I'm here to assist. Because at the end of the day, when you grow, your team will grow. That's you being able to feed your family. The the video man, the mm -hmm. producer, everybody can look good, feel good. Right. And that's what I want. Because guess what? Me just want everybody have it. All right. Because if you are drive your range, I'm mm -hmm. here drive mine. You're not going to want key mines. Because you're going to know about it. You know what I mean? Facts. But when I see young people who are progressive, productive, ambitious, mm. I want to help in whatever way I can and give advice because a lot of times we don't have people who hold us accountable. We have a lot of yes men and mm. yes women and even when we're going down the wrong path, Definitely. nobody now dry up and say, I Kareem, mm -hmm. um, you know, say, me see something go down and me not think that good. I don't think that's for you. He's out of that. Right. Mm -mm. Now put your foot there so I don't think that that will um, benefit in your mm -hmm. to your benefit. So I'm always that person who will try. I'm not going to see a go down in a hole mm -hmm. and just watch and say, watch him. Yeah. yeah. God God on. God on. Right, God God on. right this right. Street. No, I don't like that. Wow, but thank you. Um, so back on track. So then you went to RJR. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go back to RJR. And then you're mad up the place here. Go on yeah, with yourself afternoon. Yeah, afternoon eruption. So then now I got an opportunity to do a radio show in New York, okay, okay in the tri-state area. Mm -hmm. Big up New right, York. Right yeah. on Link Up Media. Mm -hmm. So that did I go on a sub, but then my love, that became <laughs> a problem and a issue for some persons, right? So I said, well. What was the I, problem? The issue was the fact that I was doing another radio show, but I'm like, but I'm not in the same market. Mm -hmm. So I could never be working at Nationwide and then no be working at Zip. Mm -hmm. That's a conflict of interest because Definitely. you're in the same marketplace. Right. However, how I looked at it was like, I was in Jamaica. And my show is in Jamaica and we were not in the era of internet so big yet, you know, mm -hmm. and podcast. And we had this about, what, two toes now? Ten? About ten or mm -hmm. even before. Okay. 2009, 2008. So, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Many of think Facebook are them something come out there. We still yeah. have MySpace and i5. i5, right? Yeah, them somebody, right? And so I was like, okay, but it's not an issue because mm -hmm. I'm not working in your space. And this is an opportunity for me again to self actualize and reach out and become, you know, the woman who I want to be right. and be able to provide for myself. They weren't having it. It was fine. I wasn't fighting with anyone or arguing with anyone because I want thing me know I am the talent. The talent resides with me. I'm me god bless and i me him give the strength and the tenacity mm -hmm. and resilience so i just kindly handed in my little resignation mm -hmm. letter and i was peace out from rjr from rjr mm -hmm. never had a problem by this time again no people called me from left right and center in my father but me still do my new york show so through the u.s i come in yeah. no, just, they didn't have yeah. a bag yeah. i was in my bag before a lot of people was in their bag yes. so i'm in my bag and i go on and then um i got to nationwide come back mm -hmm. out of all the other persons you know i said you know what nationwide after 
afternoon and I went back and yeah, the rest is history and I've been there um, since. So it has been good, but RGR was great. It was also a learning experience. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the, um, you know, the oldest radio stations, if not the oldest in Jamaica, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was also a learning experience. It helped me to hone my craft as well. Being on like the outside broadcast, being on, um, a we start um, the cross country invasion. I some get to know some place in Jamaica mm -hmm. women never go yet. Learn off it, deal with people, interact with people. I'm a people person. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times people be like, oh, she's too vulgar. You know, my vulgarity wakes up the demons in you. That's why you don't like it. <laughs> I saw your granny talk. I saw your yes. mother talk. I saw your auntie talk. So what's the issue? To me never growing in a deprived or depraved background, I have nothing to hide. Mm. I'm not afraid to talk to a person from the garrison, mm -hmm. talk to a person from the country. Because guess what? We, there is a lesson to be learned from everyone, everyone. If it's even what not to do. Mm. Mm. You catch it? Fox. Even what not, not to do. To you do. can look at yeah. somebody's life and say, you and know what? You say, no, so I'm not going to Yeah. Don't go there, so. So that for me was great. And yeah, so I started at um, uh, Nationwide and it was great and it has been great since. You've dabbled in music a little yes, bit. Yes, but then what go on for that? Like, what's happening <laughs> okay. with that? So, all right. So, you are like, evil of Yay, big up Shaggy for that link there. Yeah. And, you know, so I've done a couple of songs. Big up Stephen the Genius mm -hmm. McGregor, Grammy Award winner, you know. And um, so I have some songs. But, you are Karim, to be honest, I respect everybody's craft, okay? Mm -hmm. What you do, what the producer does, what the videographer does, right. I respect it. So to me, me, me I say, me an artist, me don't know. And then me must say, me not go to stage and grab a pala. <laughs> I'm not that person, you know. Even though I am um, effusive, I am very traditional in a lot of ways, right. you know. So me do look at things, me just have look of fun, you know what I mean. But I'm not the person who say under you and ram it on, big this and ram it to the <laughs> I'm, No, I'm the, not. You, you know, big you. God, you, no, I don't yeah. mean that. So you know, <laughs> but you know, I mean, there is always a scope for doing other things, and I dibble and I dabble, and I just have some fun with what I do. Okay, um, you've said two quotes that stuck with me, and I'm yeah. going to read them. Yes. Um, so the first one is you must have the will to win, not just the wish to win. Yeah. Bet by yourself. Yeah. That is my caption for today, by the way, on, hey. on Instagram. So yeah, big up you, right? Yes, you. thank you. And also, um, in your docu feature, you mentioned that your mother said to you, if there's no space for you in life, you have to create one yeah. for yourself. And if anybody watch my podcast and so know my story and everything, my mother share everything about me, you know. Yeah. And I've said when I've started in this entertainment and media field industry zero experience i was in corporate all my life yeah i never got school for media i never got yeah, school for either. entertainment none of them is up there yeah and just because of you know you know the things i'm gonna go on and boy i get fired and all these things well not fired but i was asked to leave um so i created a space out of me being depressed and yeah. this is what birthed from all of that yeah right it's amazing and it's funny like when i've heard that i said it's so funny my mother said something similar to that not yeah. in those words yeah but it's just so funny to me how, you know, oftentimes we're thinking about where we are currently yeah. and we're not thinking about how can we get out of the situation yeah. or how can we turn all the negatives into positive and yeah. say, hey, you are going to, I'm not working, but you are. Boy, I have a personality and people love boy personality and boy I can relate to all different masses when yeah. I ask Christ. You understand? Yeah. So how about I just start something in media yeah. and it has been working. So th those two quotes. I'm going to live by them forever and ever. Amen. Love that. A good little free bit. I put it up <laughs> in my house. <laughs> Why not? I ask guys. And I love that. And, you know, and, and these are the things we, we seek, you know, inspiration. And that is why I decided to capture my calling to the bar. Mm. Because a lot of times, you know, I'll do things and I'm not recording it. Right. Because it's not, means not an attention seeker. Yeah. It's not a means not a media aura. Like, you yeah. know what? Yeah. Like, oh my God, look at me, look at me, look at me. N not really. Mm. I, I don't do that. But also I realized that in the space, people need positivity and they need inspiration inspiration because if it is that they're inundated with negativity and nastiness that is all that they will see and gravitate mm. toward so even though there oh, are God. people I've who, a while ago. Sorry. oh wow mm. even though some people you know the nastiness we sell more i sometimes message to myself lad, nobody now go watch that nobody mm. now go interested come to find out mm -hmm. there are a lot of people who are actually interested and were waiting mm -hmm. um, for something like this and it resonated with them. I remember when I started saying Fluffy Diva and Fluffy, me never know say there were women who were plus size it who wanted that. It was a movement. It was a movement. At Karim, I never started it to be a movement. Mm. I just know that I wasn't going to be relegated to big, fat and sour. Yeah. I know I'm beautiful. I'm intelligent. I may not be the cookie cutter, stereotypical what um, attributes that they have assigned mm -hmm. to what is beauty, but I am beautiful. I'm intelligent. 
shit. My bright and my nice and my skin clean. I'm not a cock up, I'm not a dog, but I'm not a mildew. <laughs> so means a girl we can go out there, right? And I started saying fluffy because for me, <laughs> fluffy conjured something more positive. Mm -hmm. And then people just latched onto it. Me right. never, it's not like me have a campaign, like me have a commercial yeah. or so. I remember saying Instagram never debut or whatever. So it grew organically. Organic, oh Jesus. My man. celebrity or my public figure grow or grew organically. Me a star, me, I don't know, makeup, I don't know, manufacture. I don't know, build a beer body. I don't know, go run the so. Means that a prostitute, me not sell, me not sell body part, me sell talent, me sell dignity, integrity, mm. womanhood, being about your business, start having your standards, mm. and, and having your standards unequivocally, and I'm bow and beg, no guy for nothing yep. at all. Foxy, Nobody can call my name, for nothing fubble double. Let me, let me, fubble double. It better you say my act, but you can't say my dance. You better you say my act, but you can't say my mattress. Yeah. Better you say my act, but you can't say my common like salt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm about to wrap up. Flash but, my ear. Um, what I've always what, what I've always said said to persons who are following me on social media, right? Yeah. You see when you start something, people them are always at class and you know some people, oh my god, all they speak about is sexual things or yeah. oh my god, like he's so vulgar, you know, he's saying that. Yeah. For all the persons who've said that about you, who are now clapping, applauding you, you know, talking about your tenacity and yeah, your resilience. Dirty people. And your hello, hello, <laughs> Don't wish me can't hold my cap. I want to take off the mic. Take it off, hold it, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna take out that something. Yeah. Don't wish me well if you used to give me L. Yeah. Don't wish me well. Some of you know the yeah. blood of Jesus is against you. Yes. Know. I wanna see people. I wanna don't know nothing about people. Mm -hmm. I wanna see me and don't know nothing about me. And some of the most disgusting, degrading, disrespectful things I wanna say about people. And I'll, I'll know. I wanna don't know no father. I'll know no Christian. I'll know you not get a breast milk yet, yet. from your barn. Yeah, drink. Colo colo, yeah, yeah, me tell you. From your barn, yeah, eat camel dumpling. Because nobody never take the time, I spend the time on Uno. A lot of people will see people and, you know, on a class, on a set this thing, and then you wanna act like, oh, it's your right to say it. But then, for me, as me tell you, Karim, I specialize in giving my haters dyspepsia, GERD, mm. acid reflux, and chronic gastritis. Mm. So, a lot of people who now, you know, before would I say certain things. Mm -hmm laugh or even put me down mm -hmm. and me no good hello talk truth I remember go to law school in a Kareem mm -hmm. what is she doing here mm -hmm. why is she so enough what is she doing law law don't fit her and this law come to mm -hmm. and it's so funny oh she a lie well anybody can do it so go do it now yeah why you not go do it why you not go do it and yeah. drive and yeah, right. I'm gonna do it if, if everybody do it I would have a degree right? uh, listen <laughs> thank you oh degree is nothing yeah, anybody well, can do it so go do it get now one. go and get one find the money find the time find the drive mm -hmm. Exactly. Find the commitment, find the discipline mm. to go and do it then. Anybody can start a podcast. Okay, then go start well, one. go and start one then. So you have a lot of naysayers. But what, what I've come to realize is that misery loves company. Mm. And a lot of them, they are so myopic in their thinking and they are so limited. That is why them can't surpass them nose bridge. And what they try to do is deflect it on mm -hmm. you. Because I guess what Karim, them see a light mm -hmm. and them know say Karim boy a things, mm -hmm. Miss Kitty girl a things. Yeah. It's going to so shine. Shine. But God in his wisdom knows say we are star. From wow. a bottle to a mother, from a bottle to a Miss Jackie and uh, Lady yeah. Marge. God did know say we got shut up the place. La, 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 la. Yeah. And so he blessed us with eyelids. He blessed the it's haters with eyelids so that you can close your eyes when wow. you see me. It's yeah, God did know. I'm big up to everybody who I tried. Don't make nobody turn you off. Mm -hmm. Don't make nobody set you off your path. A lot of them is Satan send them. Mm -hmm. You have to plead the blood of mm -hmm. Jesus over them and make them scatter seven ways because a lot of them are blessing stealers. They are blessing blockers and them can come in different shape and form. Nobody worry about them people. Oh, she talk too loud. She talk, yes, but come a loud voice. Wake up. The Lucifer and the demon them in your body. Mm -hmm. And not for one who want to talk loud, but I chew them out, sod up. <laughs> well, I can't do it. Listen, yeah. I don't think we need anything else. Miss Kitty. Yeah. Miss Kitty. Yeah. Kajin. No, Karim, not for them fight. I'm not for them. Listen, Listen I know. want people to understand mm -hmm. that I didn't get here on a platter or a smooth road. The fight are come from, I'll fight still are going now. I can imagine. But as I say to them, no weapon formed against shall me shall prosper. prosper. Karim, not perfect. Mm. Me not perfect. Remember, some tell us, say, the people that man want me, I want them back. I'm going to take right over. No, I'm take right over. <laughs> right show. <through>, yay. <laughs> right. But I'm going to stop them. Stop them. Stop them. Yeah. Yeah, so, but if you look like that, yeah, so, but yeah. But the fight is always there. 
And if people who are watching now, especially when there is a calling on your life, mm. you will always get the opposition. But in all things, stay true to who you are. Yeah. Polonius said it. To thine own self be true. Mm. A lot of people will try to stop you, will try to assassinate your character. Mm. But when you know who you are and know that you are not who they say you are, but you are who God says you are, mm. when I worry about dirty nigga, when I can't want to know you're up to see me. Yeah. You're going to live to see me. Even if my dead and gone, my aunts are going to come back, come tell me. And that is why I want people to work hard so that your legacy will be immediate. Everybody have a seat and everybody will know. I said, boy, Kareem, boy, I think it's not going to lie. Mm. You know, so anybody like him and I think he'm sure this, huh? but he yeah. might go on the door. The one Miss Kitty, she thinks she can go and say, she love this, say, she vulgar, say, but she bright, though. Yeah. She a liar, though. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody can be lie, but you're not a liar in your family. You are not none. Me no, you're not even one in a real life. Me no know. <laughs> you don't you even know? know one in a real life. Yeah. Exactly. Anybody can start a podcast, but you don't have any. Exactly. Anybody can parade, but you're not on it. Where are you? Mm. You're on a back. Each up. Yeah. They you understand? Get one. I had to kill the man. Yard fence. Cause the dog, they even like you and the dog. I rush you. Yeah. So who are you? You know? You're broke and hungry. Why are you, why are you talking? Cut to me. Broke man supposed to have the sign language. Who is, why you, you say something? I thought somebody who would have, without a life said something. What are you saying? So when I watch them people there, mm -hmm. you just keep praying. Mm -hmm. You keep with your purpose. Mm -hmm. You know your why. You have said your why is your mom. So once you hold that up and hold her up, mm -hmm. you will try to make the best decisions. We will make mistakes. Mm -hmm. We will falter. The, the issue is not that you fall, but it's how you get up. Right. And if you choose to get up, because some people, but some am to them, mishaps happen and them just lie down and give up and give mm. up on yourself. As I said on your show, there are many days I felt to throw in the towel, but I used that towel to wipe my tears and wipe my sweat. Mm. And I kept pressing along because I know what my dreams were and what my ultimate goal was. Mm -hmm. Even though I have achieved my childhood dream, even though I have self-actualized there are still more things that I want to do. Mm. More time, I'm like a podcast too. Yeah. No, I'm like, oh, time, academic prison. Yeah. More I come out. I mean, I can't tell you, I'll, I'll be honest with you. You know, sometimes I say, boy, I'm afraid for starting. A lot of one of them are watching. We are. I wonder. Believe you, me. We like, are. They might want you to mess it. I don't know. Because Every Kareem, day. poor me, you know, me never realized that I motivate people, you know. Me just do my thing and be true to myself, you know. And as I tell you, and I'm like, I sit down and orchestrate it, like, yeah. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. Come on, this amount of followers, and this, and mm. this. I, like, I don't do that. I just operate and I just act in honesty, mm -hmm. in just openness, mm -hmm. vulnerability, mm -hmm. and just be myself. Well, you know? Yeah. That is a whole lesson. Yeah. Um, we don't watch again, the haters then. Yeah. Attorney at law. Pressure them. Entertainer. Pressure them. Post. Karim Boyer thinks yeah. pressure them. <laughs> pressure them. Yeah. yeah. When I stop pressure yeah. them. When we're in court, we know exactly how to speak. Right. We know how to articulate. We know how to yeah. address a judge. And yeah. we know how to get there. So don't let nobody tell you what you can and cannot, cannot do. do right. Let nobody write your narrative mm -mm. for you. Write, write it for story. yourself. Don't think about where you are now. Think about the possibilities. Stop being, you know, but stop thinking about boy, me not come from this, I'm gonna come from that. Don't use your past or your present circumstance as a crutch. Use it as something to propel yourself to the next level. If you want to be somebody, you can be somebody, you are somebody. But guess what? Trying to be somebody doesn't mean that you have to tear down Kareem. It doesn't mean you have to tear down Miss Kitty. You don't have to tear down anyone to get somewhere. When you try to live good mm. and you plant good seeds and you nurture those seeds, I'm telling you, God will bless you abundantly and you will grow exponentially. Mm. And the eight of them come and know the woman. When, oh, I want woman. Jesus, don't forget that part here. Yeah. Kareem. Some people, they come to me for come do one show. Digital Rising Star. I'm talk the things. Remember, some of the Magnum Kings and Queens are dance hall. Me, I say, Lord Jesus, Magnum keep me grounded for 13 weeks. Because, you know, so I have to give up my show. They're my foreign and certain things. Right. So me never want to get back on next show. We're going to keep me grounded again. Mm -hmm. So me, I say, all right, then. Here what me go do. The person call me, call me, mess a lot of mercy, me don't know. But then I said, you know what? Because I'm always challenging myself. Mm -hmm. So for example, when my host all rebel salute, right? I've never hosted a Rasta show before. Ja! Mm -hmm. Rasta far eye. So I said, okay, not a problem. I'll go because I want the experience. Me take all my free show. All one lady, uh, God rest her soul, Miss Ma Solomon. All articulturally show my host. Them deal with plants. Mm -hmm. Remember, I said, I don't know about plants. Yeah. Me I have no green tom, my black tom, me. I'm a love. <laughs> I'm a go, I'm a host. The lady show. And when she said to me, Miss Kitty, I don't want any 
any patwa at this event. Right. I said, not a problem at all. Mm -hmm. I can deliver whatever the vernacular, mm -hmm. whatever you want, I can deliver. Yes, love I that. hosted it for her once and she called me about about four times after mm -hmm. that man for runway. <laughs> yeah, hey, cause she done called me five times. Yeah. <laughs> right. So when I got that opportunity, so when the opportunity came, I was saying no man at the time. But then I thought about it and I said, you know what? Let me try it because it's a different audience. Test myself, expand my horizon. One woman, my love, say, she don't walk me up on TV. I'm too dance hall for TV and nobody wants to see me in their house on a Sunday night. Mm -hmm. Then I'm wrong with Imagine you. Imagine that. You. And yet, no, I know that. I never come here, but the woman wrinkles yet. <laughs> I never tell her such a whole like me Tuesday yeah, like yet. Yeah. And when Jesus said, let there be light, as she turned on the switch, I never talk mm -hmm. about her wrinkles. I never talk about her great hair. I never talk about her menopause yet. Mm -hmm. I went in the AC and she had beads of sweat <laughs> all over. I'm going to say, Father God, you see all them disrespect here. Yeah? But I say that to say, there are obstacles and they will come in human form. But you just have to know and be your purpose mm -hmm. and be intentional about what you're doing. And the woman unilaterally, unilaterally decided that she didn't want me on the show. Remember, you know, the people them come seek me. No, I never gonna fuck myself. I never be the ox, right? I remember, I'm be that dodge and I go round. Mm -hmm. I'm just say, all right, you know, gonna I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. And the woman took the show. Oh, and she said, by the way, I have my radio show, I have a TV show, so why must I be on so much things? Jamaica no, one bad man. Listen, man, no, no, listen. No, like, no, this is bad mind. Bad mind and yeah, the man. worst type because you know some of the people them will waste them youthful days mm -hmm. and them catch how much man and do the things them mm -hmm. are out of road at Eagle. And when them say young people them eat because them waste them youthful days. Mm -hmm. Cause them born from when the union jack up, from when a pound shilling and eight me, and when disease a kill people, from when Queenie the young and them suck there. You understand? Queenie. When Queenie I walk hard with her like a handbag. <laughs> yeah. And so when them say young people are strive, them don't like us. Right. And for me, that was such an insult. And I said, but you know, thank you. Not a problem. When one door closed, a window open. And I'm always there to jump to it. And right now, I don't even know which part she's gone with the wind. I don't even mm. know which part she's there right now. And I remember when they fired her from the job or released her from the job. Not even a party. Nobody not keep her. Mm. I said, look at that tea. Mm. I saw you know the type of mm -hmm. life where you live. So I want people, when you see me, don't think, say, oh my God, everybody love Miss Kitty. And you know, no darling, it's not like that. But guess what? My love who oh, love me. I'm work with them and I've lo also learned don't pay so much attention to the haters mm -hmm. focus on those who love you when I, 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 I've thought to put out things and do things and even though I am who I am I've been reluctant to do so Kareem because mm -hmm. I said I don't want them to support me mm -hmm. I want them to buy from me because two, oh, some, Jama oh, Jamaicans some of them work is you will buy Kim Kardashian things you know and if Kim, if she, if Kim put out her skims you're going to buy the skims the beams and the whims but if Kareem or Miss Kitty put out something, Kareem Richard already him looking, man, I'm by it. Well, I'm talking to them about all the time. You think Kareem will drive the Range Rover out of me? Yeah. I'll drive the Benz, I'll mm -hmm. move a Cherry Gun out of me. Then have Kim Kardashian, I'll drive Thank Benz, you. Benz, Thank you. Thank you. Right? Calabasas. Yeah, Calabasas and, and, and all what's your name, yeah? Um, Teletubb. Mm. What's your name? Teletubb. Um, what's your name? Who them Teletubb is? Who does? What girl name? Kylie Jenner, Miss Kitty. Kylie, yeah. <laughs> she, right? And yeah, we buy Kylie makeup, lip gloss, and Kylie don't got Merle Grove. She never got Queens. She never got Holy Childhood. You can't see Kylie for bigger girl for take a picture and her nothing, exactly. but your support. So I don't have a problem if people support who they want to, mm -hmm. but I'm also saying your own local celebrity, your own celebrate, public figure, celebrate, celebrate to talk. Because people, sometimes definitely. people, oh, look here, my dad was sports day one day, mm. and you saying was there, and, him, and a girl wanted a picture, you know, so she, oh my God, you saying that she love me. Here our cousin, I want you going to for you go like you saying that somebody. I thought you saying that nobody. See me, yeah. You know, say me go cry for the girl. <laughs> because no. if you say that nobody, then my dad's going to just lie down and put all the brown paper back over my head. Because if man, I run and I be the fastest man in the world and I do all of these things, water, yay. Yeah. And <laughs> she'll say, I'm, I'm a look, I'm a say, boy, you know. Sometimes people are easy, you know. Your own local celebrities. It's our own people that we do things like people. all the time. And I've all always the time. been saying it. You saw the Chinese them are shot. You mm -hmm. saw the Jews them are shot. Mm -hmm. You saw the Caucasians are mm -hmm. shotting. Mm -hmm. we, you know, slavery has done a number on us. And you know, that divisive, the divisiveness is still plaguing us because we still suffer yes. from the house slave versus field mm -hmm. slave mentality. Still. I'm not saying nothing about your schemes. Buy your schemes. Mm -hmm. But if Miss Kitty put out something, you can't support too. her too. Yeah. You can't support Miss Kitty TLC business mm -hmm. too. You can't support Karim Boyer. Mm -hmm. business too. If Miss Kitty has sell two shirts, you can buy it too. Yes. Because me and Kylie buy from the same people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Kylie never go come at your barbecue. You can call me. Me will come. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's how you can see me and take a picture with exactly. me somewhere of a sovereign. Yeah. You can see me and you can say, you're nasty, Kylie. Because when you see Kylie, Kylie got up some big neck security, a bodyguard at her. And she can say, oh my God, get rid, get rid of them. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm scared. Or when she comes, she's going to stay in the dealer and she ain't going to come outside. So we have to get over this thing where we are not supporting our own. It is imperative that we support our own. That is how we're going to build generational wealth. That is how we're going to elevate people of the Negroid race and celebrate each other. It don't take me nothing. I mean, it take a Thing. But may I come come support Kareem something? Yeah. May I support Likewise. it. Likewise, thank you. You know very what much. I mean? Yeah. And to all those persons who have downloaded their Digicel Play Go app, right, true. and all the persons yeah. who have watched my calling, Miss Kitty. Thank you. And Kareem, thank you for your love and support no, as you. well. Thank I you sincerely much. appreciate it. Because you know, we have a thing where you know when you're the hottest thing, you know, mm. or people think they're the hottest thing. We don't have manners, I want to respect. And I must say mm. publicly, mm. your demeanor, your humility, your respect mm. is so appreciated, mm, so you. refreshing. Thank and you. I sincerely appreciate it. And thank as I you. said, in whatever way I can be of assistance or help to you, Auntie no. Miss Kitty is here. Very much. You know what I'm thank saying? You. Yay. You know, thank you so much for coming, Miss Kitty. Thank I mean, you, baby. You wear many hats, you know. Yeah. I turn you out to love. Is the new one. <laughs> hey. uh, anytime you need a liar, you know what yeah. I mean? Just try yeah. to have a put money. Ritchie and I yeah. am. You know, host, a legend, a pioneer, as I've said before. <laughs> Thank Dean you. Dean Natoya Hilton. Thank you. Yes, and it's Natoya. N A T O Y A. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. yeah. So let's yeah. bust Miss Kitty Blanc for a while. Yeah. La 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 Oh, uh, oh, oh, hold on one second before we go. Oh, by the way, Kareem, my blood drive is still going on. Oh, right? I don't remember. Um, it's like all, forever, ever, yeah, forever, amen. ever, amen. Yeah. Because we need to know that giving blood saves lives, Definitely. and it's so remember important, that. guys, that we do. I donated last Tuesday, I and so I'm asking all the persons who are able to, you know, barring any religious reasons or any uh, health reasons, to just please donate blood because the life you save may be your own or that of a loved of, one. Of a family member, yes, for, for, right. But you know, it's your birthday. Oh. Uh, and from oh. myself and closet code JA. Aww. Right? So you get two nice outfits. Thank you. Yeah, all right, so I got know. closet code JA. Oh, right? So these you. are yours. Oh, thank yes. you. Closet yes. code JA. Yes. Oh my god! I love and I love pink. Yeah, ah! man. So you know, it's two nice outfits and Thank all of that. You. you know, happy belated birthday. Thank yeah, you. Because I appreciate you, your drive, your tenacity, you. your yeah. resilience. I don't know what else to say about you. No. <laughs> Thank you. Tell us something, man. I'm not really frightened for anything for people, you know. Yeah. But I'm frightened for you. I'm ask. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, and you know, so if you're rate, I'm rated yeah, to the ground too. Yes. And you know, and as I said, we're frightened for Beyonce mm -hmm. and people are frightened for people overseas. Mm -hmm. I would like to act like our local celebrities or our home grown celebrities are not people and of importance and when we go a foreign and we will travel and go to the place that may tell us say the people them flock away remember one time ago one place and yo to all the people them yo me for run going to, somewhere go hide <laughs> yeah never call my manager I say I send the body yeah I know yeah Cause to me, me you know me I said to the people them never go recognize mm. me or whatever listen so you know we have to appreciate each other but I just want to say like where we're closing out the show I want to yeah. just say a word of prayer wow. all right Father God, I want to thank you for another day. Thank you for another opportunity. Lord, I pray that you will bless Kareem, bless his dreams, bless all his aspirations, dear Lord, and let them come to fruition. I want to bless his team, dear Lord, that they will work together as one cohesive whole, working together for the benefit of each other. Dear Lord, I ask that you will continue to open doors of opportunities for him so that he can actualize and strive and thrive in as many ways as possible. Cover them from the crown of the crowns of their head to the soles of their feet and help them to know that you are God and when you say it is done it is done in your precious holy name God and protect all of us dear Lord bless his viewers bless everyone who supports his channel and his platform dear God let this channel be grow exponentially and let his name be known the world over to the globe Lord bless every eye and every ear that comes in contact with our voice with our platforms dear Jesus and help us to continue to show that when God bless you, you are truly blessed. Thank you for all your blessings, dear Jesus. And we ask that you continue to guide and protect us, cover us under your blood, Lord. And any trap that is set by the enemy, I ask that you will disband it, disperse them, dear Jesus, and scuttle any plan of the enemy. Thank you for your name. Thank you for your blessings, God. I ask for your continuous guidance and blessings. And these and other mercies we sincerely ask in your precious holy name. Amen. 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 Wow. Blessings. Yay.
All right. Um, thank you. I mean, this was our season finale. Man, now, listen, d- d- no other way to end. Pretty from my my see baby. Yeah. Yeah. Me, me just done pray. Sorry, I can't sing that song there. Glory, <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> Marty, you can't stop me. Yeah. But this is a wonderful way to end the season. Thank you, thank guys. you guys for the support. And Miss thank Kitty, you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, and please make sure you follow my page, yes. Fluffy Miss Kitty, mm-hmm. on Instagram. Remember to get your TLC products. Click mm-hmm. the link tree link in my bio. And you can DM me if you have any questions at all. And, you know, we're going to be having our podcast and so on and who knows yeah. maybe I'll be back on Boy at Sea yeah. anytime already, uh, anytime already. Anytime so already. just look you. out but I just want to wish everybody and I thank you know all my fans all my well wishers all my supporters I thank you so very much for all your prayers thank you for you know your kind words mm. thank you for your compliments thank you for your kind acknowledgement closet um, code oh, JA, JA. thank you so you. much for my yeah. gift and me go wear it and when I wear it me go tag it in at yeah. it so your sissy me wear it for yeah. choo choo <laughs> but you know we want to do the nice things them but I want to just say I love you guys. Thank you. I'm most appreciative of all you do. And I'm not perfect, but I will always endeavor to be the best version of myself so you can see in me that you too can be the best that you can be. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Yay! Man, to end the show. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you. Yeah, Tea to whitey. <laughs> Harry, no, Karim, oh, that's just now black and white so together. No, Tell the truth, no. Like we planet. Like planet. Like we planet. Like we planet. You never come. No, me never come. You know what? Black and white, you know? Black and yeah. white. <laughs> Manala. Like, hello with all the gray areas. Right there, so she. Thanks, guys. Love you. Miss Kitty, girl of things. Yeah. <laughs>